Hi, I'm Ryan Calloway. I am the writer and director of Where Demons Dwell, The Girl in the Cornfield 2, and I'm recording this interview for Steve and my friends at Nerd Rage News. Horror is my favorite genre. If you ask my wife, uh, kids, and anyone who knows me, it's, it's pretty much the only thing I'll watch. Um, I, I like it for the thrill. Um, it's just like getting scared. For me, it's like going on a roller coaster, which is not something I do because I'm afraid of heights. Um, but it, it's a safe way to experience fear and to live life vicariously through uh, through these characters. And you know, to me, when I watch a movie, um, I, I generally only watch horror or something exciting because uh, I, I get bored easily. And I, I, I like my life. Uh, I like where I live. I like uh, you know my family and and what I do. So if I'm going to watch a movie, I want to be entertained and I want to live something that I may not necessarily want to live in real life, um, although it'd be kind of cool if, if he did. Um, my favorite movies tend to be uh, the supernatural, anything dealing with demons or evil spirits uh, or ghosts. Uh, I also like home invasion movies and uh, I tend to like apocalyptic films too. Um, now in real life I don't want to experience any of that, uh, but again it's fun to watch and it's fun to uh, uh, to, to see it through these other characters' eyes. So, uh, for me, I, I just think it's a lot of fun. I think it's really cool, and it's awesome to be able to make movies that hopefully make people feel uh, the same way that uh, I felt for so long as a horror fan. I became a director because I enjoy telling stories I always have. Uh, it started with writing when I was younger. I was always uh, making, uh, creating short stories, and. I actually had a couple novels published uh, a very long time ago. Uh, I, I enjoy telling stories, I enjoy scaring people with my stories, so uh, I, I guess it was only natural that I got into filmmaking. I originally didn't have any intentions of it. I always envisioned my books becoming movies one day, but I, I didn't think I, I would be the one to uh, bring it to fruition. But I used to do book trailers and uh, like character profile videos, and when people saw them they would always uh, say that they thought I had a skill in editing, maybe I should try my hand with uh, film editing, and I just, you know, brushed it off, but uh, eventually it ended up uh, coming true, so uh, here I am. Well, uh, this movie actually was in pre-production a couple of months before the first one even came out. Uh, the original was just getting so much attention, and uh, a couple of people had commented on or asked about a potential sequel, and even though the first one ends in what some people might think is an open-ended manner, I, I didn't have any intentions of uh, revisiting that world um, originally, but I, I, I thought about it and I had a pretty good story idea come to mind. And the first one, uh, you know, it's my stories, so there's always deeper meanings and, and multiple layers, most of which I don't even get the chance to explore in the actual movie. So. I, I knew that, that I would have something for a sequel if I wanted to do one, so I came up with the story idea and I wrote it back in February. The original Girl in the Cornfield came out in uh, May, and uh, that's around the time we did the casting for this one. So I was really excited about this movie right from the start. Uh, I think the cast that we had was uh, exceptional, and uh, the script was one that I really put a lot of time and effort into. My goal with it was to come up with something, at least on this level, similar to a lot of the haunted house films that I've enjoyed recently, like The Conjuring or uh, Insidious, Sinister, um, something of that vein. I, I love movies where something horrifying is happening uh, almost all the time. And also I, I think haunted house and home invasion movies resonate as deep with audiences as any type of film because the home is supposed to be the safest place. You know, we all can't wait to get home after a long work day or after something horrible happens. So when your home is then invaded by some evil supernatural entity or, you know, weirdos and spooky masks, that takes that uh, element of safety away. So I, I think that's why uh, audiences enjoy it. I know that's why I enjoy it. So. I, I did my best with this film to, uh, to, to kind of bring that to life, so I hope everyone enjoys it.